Well, welcome to all of you. Uh, my name, if you don't know, is Dwayne Little. And to give you just a little bit, I was a professor of history here from 1973 until last year. So this is my first year of retirement. Today, uh, we will be looking at about nine or ten different locations that are still here. Uh, all of you know the roots of theosophy uh, far better than me. Uh, and But here in, in uh, 1897, Catherine Tingley had purchased this property. At the height, uh, it was about 500 acres. And in about the 1920s, there was a maximum of about 500 people that were here. Uh, so why don't you just come on in and I'll do my best. You peek around the edges and, and we'll, we'll try to make it together, okay? So come on in. This is the rotunda kind of area you know, within it. It is pretty close to, to the way it was originally, uh, except that, that this area that you see in the, in the brown fabric, that was open. And also behind the desk that you passed as you were coming in, there's a little closet area there now. That was open. And so actually on, in, inside here, you could move around almost seeing almost everything like this. You, you may notice the interesting carvings, which are by Reginald Machel, who is an artist on, on, on campus. Uh, he decorated many buildings, uh, uh, probably best known for the doors to the Temple of Peace, which are still with the San Diego Historical Society today. I always found this one over here more understandable and interesting. If you see the sun, you know, is in the middle. And if you'll follow with your eyes over to the right, you will, there are some little lines. You can see that this child is holding a prism in his hand. And then these little lines that are coming down, it's hard to see because our light in here is not so good. But, you know, it was refracting the light over, over onto this paper. And then on this side, the, the, the light is coming through a magnifying glass onto a leaf that's being held and is burning a hole in a leaf. Yeah. Well, you know, children was, children was, were, you know, the major, the major focus for the Theosophical Society in many ways because they were really attempting to bring a new generation with a different approach to life, values, and so forth. And so, you know, this, this is, I think, part of, of that particular story. Uh, in 19, when we purchased this in 83, the sphere that you see on top wasn't there. And so after uh, spending time with Iverson Harris and, and, and Emmett and so forth, I became, hey, look, you know, this building is kind of pancake. It, it, it really needs this, this thing put back. We did this in, I think it's 1980 or 81. And he put all the ideas together. I held his hand and helped him move stuff <laughs> for a summer. And then... We got a crane out and, and put the sphere back on as you see it up, up, up there present. This, this building was built in, in about 1904, 1905. I don't even know if anyone knows the precise time, but you can see it on the, in the, when the photographs, when it kind of shows up. I have different pictures of this, and I have one where there are none of these, we, in the Midwest we call them dormers, these little openings in the roof. Mm -hmm. and, and I have pictures of Catherine Tingley standing out on, on, the, on that ledge out there overlooking you know, in, into this particular area you know, back, back in those days. You can see the, the amethyst uh, in the door, uh, in the glass there, also in those uh, 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 ovals. Those ovals were actually covered up, and we discovered that those, those were in there. Uh, we redid the, the roof. You see this little house over to your left. There were originally two of them. 
uh, uh, and, and it was actually located over here where this kind of gate portico is. The two were side by side over here. When you go inside, but I would call your attention particularly after we walk in to a fireplace that, that's on your left, which you will see in the originals. And you will see that in the originals there was a picture of HPB up, up, up above. Mm. The, the same picture I will be showing of HPB actually. And also the stairwell that, that you see there that is a, a circular kind of in, in, in nature. That's also, and the carvings, I, I don't know for sure if Reginald Machel did. I assume he did. It looks like his work. And then you'll see on the inside still a lot of the same kind of ornate uh, uh, elements that you've, you've seen in, in the prior building. So that you'll see there the, the uh, uh, fireplace, and it's where the mirror is. It's where you'll see HPB's uh, 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 picture tomorrow. And this is Machel's work. I'm pretty sure it, you will see it tomorrow. It's really dark like mahogany in, 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 in the original going up. And then you can see you know, the wooden things on, on the stairs itself. And this was a library. Uh, it was a guest home. It, 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 uh, according to Emmett and others I've talked to, seven or eight different kinds of activities have been centered in, 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 this, in, in this particular building. Well, if you're ready, we'll head back the other way. There are, cert there are certain of you who want to go into the bottom of this I don't think most of you do unless you, I don't think there's anything in there, but for some reason there were three or, three or four of you who really wanted to. Well, this was the, during the time from 1929 to 1942, when this was the headquarters building for the Theosophical Society at that time with Dr. DePruker there. Mm -hmm. This was also the esoteric office underneath uh -huh. here. Uh -huh. So this is where, uh, what we're reading today, a lot of people are reading uh, booklets prepared during that time, the series of 12 esoteric teachings were prepared here. This is a building we couldn't get into because that's where all of the student records are kept and transcripts and so forth. So someone from that building has to be there, I guess, whenever it's open. But this was a building built by Albert G. Spalding for his nephew. And I can't get you in there, but you can see there's some fairly large windows there. And so feel free, to the extent that you would like, to go in and, and peek peek in the window. Just, uh, you can be a peeper through, through there and, and, and see it as much as possible because it's a lovely, lovely building uh, uh, now that we've got it fixed up correctly. Okay? Actually, and, and anyone who would like to come in here, you, you may My parents lived here. in this building in 1948, huh? 51. Emmett and Carmen lived here. They lived everywhere at some point no, or the other, it seems like. 47, 48. It is. It, it, I have no idea how it was able to. You can see this metal pipe going up, and and if you want to go see, see at the top, it is a weather vane, you know, at at the top, and you'll see photos of that very thing tomorrow with the professor and the students and so forth. So feel free to either look from here or go there. It's that's public property. That's part of the park. Christian education. I mean, it is, we have a spiritual and Christian thing, just like KT and had, had as well, and which everyone I've talked to still appreciates that, that we're trying to accomplish many of those same things. You know, but we also have a profound respect, and our reason for existence is to, to spread knowledge in science and philosophy and, and everything else as best we can. And, you know, we're going back to the Greeks and, and so forth. And so it, it but it's hard to get anything that, that puts both of those images together. Yeah. <laughs> This this building was it's it's a 
public safety building uh, uh, right now. In Theosophical times, Cal Western and USIU times, and us, it was a health-related facility. But it is, it is an original house. It, is, it, is, it was called Casa Rosa, that is Rose House. And I'll show you photos tomorrow of, of all these rose bushes out, out front. They asked me, what's the architecture here? You know, well, it's an eclectic style. It borrows from a lot of different places. And, and Casa Rosa is a very different, but very, very interesting place. Okay. Just come on in and there's some openings here on either side or retired, you can sit on the steps for a moment. This, uh, this was the International Headquarters building. Um, and you can see the first floor is public, kind of, and fairly ornate. So when various theosophical groups would come, the cabinet, others, this is where Catherine Tingley would, would entertain them, and they would have conferences and discussions and, and all those things. If you think about historical restoration a little bit, if you can... And so with the help of some historical uh, 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 preservationists and so forth, you know, made made the room you know the the, the way the way that it was originally. Uh, from here, I'm going to, to let you kind of you can go up the steps now, and you'll notice that there's a skylight that now is opened up and brings light in, in, into the building. As you go up, you will see around the steps also the carvings. Those are copies of the original Reginald Machel. But it's been probably 20 years since I've been in I know. Well, if you if you notice, this is board and bat architecture. This this is original on this side. That is been been put back. I mean, to to match the room. You can you look in there now. Remember that you are reversed 180 degrees. Uh, Catherine Tingley originally. Let's see if I can keep it straight. Uh, uh, that side is is would have would have been looking over the bay. This side would have, would have, where Catherine Kingley actually had her living quarters was in an addition here mostly, and it overlooked the ocean. This was the work room of the conference room of KT? Yes. Okay. Uh, uh, she had a lot of the cabinet meetings. Yeah, yeah, I would, yeah. Emmett told me that he yes. would meet. He was his secretary sometimes, yeah, yeah. And, and they would meet. And the, uh, the, this is where the uh, uh, fireplace was, okay. right, right, right in here. Yeah. And, and because this, instead of looking over the ocean, was looking over the city. Okay, I think now virtually everyone is here. Uh, this is the last uh, remaining of, of the Lotus houses. Uh, these were some of the earliest structures, and they did go through a, a metamorphosis from the very, the very early ones, as you'll see tomorrow, I had like tents on the top. Some of them are, are circular. Some of them are square. Uh, this was number 10. There were, there were 10 of these. And they were kind of uh, in, right in the middle of the campus where, where the library, where the uh, 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 student services building was. You'll see, it, you'll see it tomorrow. There were walkways in between them and so forth. But that's, that's where the children live. Okay, well, let's go to the Greek theater now. Okay. The oldest in the United States. Yeah, it's safe. Well, you can... Uh, you can see this. There, there is a over there uh, a, a plaque that, that denotes this as the oldest Greek theater in the United States, yeah. 1901. Yes. Uh, it is almost exactly the way it was then. The floor is still the same. Uh, these benches are exactly the same. They have been rebuilt. You know, there have been talks about how they should do it differently but at least I was always saying no you need to keep it you know the way the way that it was so the configuration and the, and the way that that is put in there is all the way it was that that wasn't built until about 1909 1910 
It was, so a lot of early pictures, it's just flat. And then in 1950, about 1954, 55, there was a big storm and, and knocked the, the, the original down. And so the, the, the university that preceded us rebuilt it. It is, it is the same as the original now. In fact, we, we put it back more the way it was original, except that the extension on this side, it, it, it comes out same. further it, it, where, where it is used you know, for when graduates go across and yes. so forth. I showed you the picture. This is this was where the women were working on crafts and things like that that they sold in the women's mart, and and so uh, this was the primary building for for doing that. And and we're going to con we're going to conclude in in the history building. This is a new building. Uh, this is this this is. I brought you here because I'm a historian, so this is where my office was. But it also has the most fantastic view. This is it for the tour, I think, and we're going to walk back to, to the beginning. And maybe a few comments. As far as I'm concerned, this, this is. Uh, Thank you very much. Yeah. Thank we'll you. We'll see you at 10 o'clock tomorrow. Thank you, Thank you very much. You get to see it exactly the way it was.